So we're gonna, we're shooting like the big intense opening scene of the video, which there's a lot of cars, like 15 cars. So opening shot, Aiden stops the traffic, switches it, confuses everybody, and there's almost a traffic wreck, stops the bad guy, and then the chase scene begins. Is there a way to stop and kind of go like that? Or probably not. Sideways? I don't want you to flip or anything. <laughs> flip, but I'll try. Okay, <laughs> try it, but I, you don't do anything. You hear this first. Don't do anything where you're gonna flip the car. Okay. okay. We have insurance, Just but I don't want to use it. Please don't hit me. 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 The Dark Knight, where they flip the semi truck over. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Love Christopher Nolan. Shout out to him. Um, and now we get to film the exact same city, exact same location. So I'm kind of like starstruck. I'm really excited about it. So we're doing a little wear and tear. If it looks too shiny, it doesn't look real. This is a new hat. We bought it actually from the watchdog store. So it looks like the video game, but we want to make it a little wear and tear so it looks more real because real life is wear and tear. So I you're running across the bridge, then he's jumping over, right? Uh -huh. Would you jump this yourself? I would. So you're gonna have from here to here. Yeah. That sounds like it's kind of close. No, it's good. We're good. You promise? Totally good. Okay. Because what happens if you don't make it? Um, then I smack into it, and I probably fall backwards, you know? And then I'll you shout probably something. probably fall just enough so that your head hits first. All right, be aware of the wind. Cameras are rolling. Ready? Watch what you're a film with. <laughs> Did I almost nail it? Maybe. I live for making movies, guys. We do a lot of like crazy extreme stuff, so this is more storytelling, which is what I actually got involved with first. So for me, I'm starting to merge back into what I love to do because of you guys. So thanks for making that happen. I want to kind of get some more modeling on your cheeks. So that's all I'm trying to do. So that's good. That looks good to me, Devin. What do you think about that? Lighting is the best. Scroll through. Update your Facebook profile. And check that Tinder account. <laughs> day two or day, night two of Watch Dogs. Night three, actually, of Watch Dogs. Here in Chicago, look over there, there's a city of Chicago. Now, the cool thing about Watch Dogs is it's all about technology. The main character, Aiden Pierce, he uses his phone to control different things in the video game. I mean, he'll use this to access scissor lifts. He'll use it to change as far as green light to red light. He'll use it to burst things as far as like pipes to get away. So, we're using things from the video game and recreate in real life. So we have an awesome team to make that happen. So the camera's back over the wall over his shoulder. Uh -huh. We're hiding here, his face is right here next to it. Uh -huh. That's what we do. Woo. Very nice. When I say smoke, the smoke goes off and then Chris pushes his cell phone. Okay. Action! He's dancing with him. He's dancing with him. Cut! So what's the deal over here? 
it's raining. Why is it raining? So here we have Jacob Schwarz. He's the producer for the shoot. Now a producer, he's busy producing right now. He has to oversee everything. Like he does most of the work the way I see it. Like he has to get basically all the pieces together. He has to get the permits. What else do you do as a producer? Permits, locations, people, assets. He pays food, all the checks. Everything. So just making sure everyone gets paid and is happy and healthy. And yeah. Just think. I think the hardest thing about this project has been so far, especially, is just shooting here in Chicago. I've never shot here. I've never filmed there. Devin hasn't either. And figuring stuff out. So if you guys are looking to do something in the future, the most important thing to do, especially if you're filming where we don't know, is to find a location manager somebody that is familiar with the area that could help hook you up so they asked me uh, if I could find some locations for them so now that we found the locations what's your role today while we're actually shooting uh, today uh, just logistics um, getting people in and out of the locations meeting the cops and what are some other bigger movies you've worked on uh, the bigger ones like the Dark Knight uh, Batman Begins uh, Transformers 3 now, if someone wants to hire you, like, how do we find out where to go? They can email me at muldoon319 at gmail.com. We'll have that in or the Or call the Chicago Film Office. Yeah, so if you're looking for amazing locations in Chicago, this is the guy to go to. So, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. So, here we are with David Thorpe. David Liddell Thorpe. He's the gaffer of the day. We went to film school together back in the day. <laughs> and he works hard. We do. David, you have 10 minutes to do what you want. Okay. I would like to get in there, but I'm also worried about like your coverage. I want to make sure that you have the flexibility to do whatever you want coverage-wise. Yeah, that'd be perfect. If you just like had your hips here and then just kind of rolled over, did one of those yeah, uh -huh. parkour tumbles. I'd almost land like sideways. Yeah. Punk straight to my back. Perfect. Yeah. Can you give me two good. takes? Yep. So we got uh, Chris Romrell here, who starred in the Assassin's Creed Comic Con. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Super this lovely film. fella? Uh, my name is Robert Bennett, a uh, friend of Chris. We are on the same stunt team together, CBR stunt team. So just out here doing some parkour in Chicago and hooking ourselves around, hooking our meat suits. So. Yeah. him on YouTube. How great is this guy? So here we have Craig, or Wheezy Waiter as they call him. Chicago PD. PD, Chicago's finest, and he is from Chicago, and he is an amazing YouTuber. So check out Wheezy's YouTube channel, which will pop up right here. Ta-da, and what kind of videos do you do, Wheezy? I do comedy videos, uh, talking, uh, um, talking about the news, talking out of my butt. About literally, which literally. is very impressive. Yeah. So check it Actually, out. Actually, no, that would be a great series, though. Uh, I make clones of myself. Lots I, of clones. Yeah. Um, take, sometimes I take my shirt off. If and, you're lucky, if we're lucky. Yeah. Romston and Rimston. And, and Romston. And they are our production designers. Is that okay if I say that? Sure. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what is happening here, what you guys did on this. Uh, so um, we built these clothes lines. And whose clothes are these? These are our clothes, our clothes from our closet and our drawers. So and technically we're costume designers too. <laughs> and how did you find out about the shoot? Uh, Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. Saw Devin's a post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Devin said, yeah, definitely. And uh, asked him if he knew anyone that else that would be interested. And that's how we got involved. He yeah. told us about it. And we were all, all for it. I told him I'm going to be out there for sure. I'm not going to miss it for the world. We uh, stalked into their shoot, basically. And we found you guys. Yeah, and we followed the, the hashtags. And I think it was Watchdogs. Uh, we we saw a little sign in the background. What did and it say? we uh, Googled Chicago that. And then we uh, found it. We've been watching Sherlock Holmes. So. That is the power of social media. Exactly. Uh, the crew really takes so much time making sure they get the shots right. But then when I watch them now, I mean, they'll have such a greater appreciation for what you guys do. He's always talking about going after those shots that uh, nobody else can, that nobody else will take, and you could see it today where he's weaving between cars that are like driving at 50 miles an hour. It's just awesome. It's awesome to see him work. 
Now this happened because we got to work with Ubisoft. They're the ones that actually funded this, gave us the opportunity to do this, and it's based on the video game Watch Dogs. Um, that comes out for all the video games, not all the video game systems, but most video game systems. So check it out, we're gonna have a trailer. Check out the trailer for Watch Dogs. Okay, so it is, how late is it right now, guys? Really late. Really late. Really late. Really late. Really late. Really late. So on Instagram, on Twitter, I posted saying, hey, I want my fans to come and look what we got right here. <laughs> people submit names and everything but we had to just went with the first what 20 30 people but they donated their cars like look behind us right now like these are all their cars they were the extras in the background because of these people we're actually able to make the watchdog video happen so super thanks to you guys Woo the fans other than that over and out yeah wham bam super trap and i tipping up my hat while i boost the fans and i hover up top can you feel the noise all the girls scream now because they want the boys yo making all the clouds looking like a big joke when i run so fast and i sing so low and you never want to mess with me you just listen to me i just set me free so just stop